Hey guys, Tommy here. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video for you guys on how to get the energy wallet. This is mainly geared toward those of you who've never used a cryptocurrency wallet. If you have, it's pretty self-explanatory. We are gonna go through backing up as well. So really important for creating an energy wallet. So you may wanna watch this anyway, even if you are familiar, we'll keep it short and sweet. So what you're gonna do is go to energy.world and then go to the downloads tab. And uh, of course, I'm already here. Uh, and here you've got options to download for Windows, or for Mac, or Linux. It's pretty similar for each. I have Windows, so we just download the Windows option. Just click on it, it'll start a download. Um, I've already kind of downloaded it to make this go a little faster and easier, but once you download it, it will give you uh, Energy Core Setup.exe. Go ahead and run that, and you'll download the Energy Clients. Very self explanatory uh, up to this point. Once you download, and run it, it's going to let you open the energy client. When you open it, there might be a little bar that says you have to wait for transactions to finish. There's a hide option. You can go ahead and click that. And at the bottom here, you're going to see a kind of status bar of how far it's syncing along the network. That's just essentially catching up to the latest transactions in the network. So you don't really need to worry about that. Let it, let it, do, let it do its thing. Uh, the way you're going to create an address. So this will be important for receiving energy. Um, go ahead and go to the Receive tab and click on Request Payment. When you do this, it's going to give you an address. This is your energy address. Uh, this is the address that you want to give people uh, if you want to receive energy. So go ahead and copy this address, put it somewhere in a notepad or somewhere where you can uh, remember it or access it, and that's your address. Uh, and that's basically it. So you can receive energy that way. If you want to send, go to the Send tab, put the address here, put the amount of energy you want to send, and you can send it. Go ahead and click send payment. I don't have any energy in this wallet, so I uh, can send from here. Just so you guys know, you can also create more addresses too if you want to. Um, if you click on it, you can see this, this address starts with EX. This one starts with EE. So basically these all coordinate to the same um, basically user, but you can create numerous addresses for it. So that's essentially sending and receiving, super simple. Yeah, so this is uh, pretty easy. You don't need to worry about most of this other stuff. As you do transactions, you'll see transactions filling up here. Uh, and you can also see your transaction history here. Now this part's really important. I'm gonna also touch on backing up your wallet. So anytime you create a wallet that you intend to use, you should 100% back it up. The reason being is because if your computer crashes or something, you have a backup of the wallet file to be able to access it. The way you do that, just click on file and click backup wallet. Really easy to do. I'll walk you through this one. Uh, assuming my computer chooses to cooperate. We'll give it a second to think about it. All right, great. Uh, and then you are going to, I think for some reason, it, I tried doing this folder. Let's do this. Okay. okay. So anyway, navigate to the folder you want to save in. Um, I created a folder for this. So just any folder, you can put it on your desktop if you want to. The files have to be called wallet.dat in order to work correctly, so I think that would be a good name for it, just to wallet.dat. I already did that, so we're gonna, it's probably gonna override it, that's okay. Yes, bam, and then we backed it up. Now we can navigate to that folder with the backup, and here it is. This is a file you wanna make numerous backups of. Put some on different external drives. You can email it to yourself, but you wanna be really careful with that. Um, if you are doing anything like that, you definitely want to encrypt the wallet beforehand, which you can do so here. Or This isn't like urgent. You don't need to do it right away, but as you become more an advanced user, you want to encrypt the wallet. The reason being, if someone has this wallet.dat file, they can access your energy. They can just plug it in the system and access your energy. So uh, uh, to, if you encrypt it, you can put any password in, and then the wallet will be encrypted. And then once you back it up from there, it's now going to be encrypted and you'll have to have that password in order to unlock it. But we don't need to worry about that too much for now. I just, this is basically more of a simple guide for new users. So you kind of have an idea of how to create an energy address, how to send and receive, and uh, how to create a backup of it. Um, if you wanna restore the backup, there's a folder in your users, uh, app data folder, energy, and uh, Anytime you start energy up, there'll be a wallet file there. You just basically replace this wallet file with the existing one, and that's how you restore your wallet in the case of a computer crashing or something like that. So anyway, that will suffice 
for now, you guys, that's how you essentially create a wallet, uh, send and receive, and very importantly, back it up. So I uh, hope you guys like this uh, video. If you like it, hit the thumbs up, share it with others if they need it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.